Look at the sleekness of it all. So this is how the wig comes packaged. This is a 13 by 4, 24 inch lace frontal wig from them. I believe this is straight hair. It does have HD lace on this, skin melt transparent, 180 density, and my cap size is small. It came in this package right here, and it does have a few little trinkets in the box, and it does have a silk bag so you can keep your wig stored, looking all fire. Y'all know that's important. Lately, I have been trying to just install my wigs from start to finish without doing any like bleaching of the knots. Just because, you know, I want you guys to see how the hair looks straight out the pack, install it straight out the box, and see if this is something that you would be interested in or if I even like it. This is how cute the unit is, you guys. So I was really excited about this one. Let's have a highlighted piece. If I don't keep it in the middle, what I will do is just like adjust it to the left a little bit so it can give like an off-center part. I do want to go ahead and like pluck at the center. I like to do this off of my head because if I do this on my head, girl, holes all in the lace. This is transparent lace and I don't really care for transparent lace, we, but we're going to try to make it work today. Oh, yes, it's not all the way on and I'm loving it. So I was really, I was really excited about this because on the picture it looked like the highlighted pieces weren't super yellow. I can't stand like um, a Barbie yellow type of hair tone on myself. I love the fact that they went with a gradient versus like it just being just blonde pieces at the top because I think that would have looked crazy. So I'm here for it. And I might just keep it in the center because it doesn't look that bad. Incisions to the lace so I'm able to work with, you know, the wig a little bit easier. I have my trusty alcohol and my makeup so good so i'm really salty that i have to remove my makeup from around this area but it's definitely necessary because you know you want that really good leg spray been doing a little wrong lately i've been so eager to try to install a damn unit that i'll just forget to like let the got to be glue free spray actually like get tacky so i like to do that and then i'm gonna focus on one side take my hot comb and just push my hair back my hot comb is not at its hottest setting so i'm not really worried about it burning me Making sure the wig is in the center. Bring this out, and then I'm going to wrap the elastic band around. It. So what I'm going to do right now is actually like blow around this area. Garnier heating protecting serum. I'm going to use that just so I can loosen up these strands up here because I did have to, you know, use that got to be glue a couple of times. My tweezers and just start doing some more gradient vibes to the front half. It's still gonna need a little bit of TLC with the lace. So I also I also don't want to take too much hair out at the top, just because I think it's unnecessary. Cause they did a really good job at making sure the density at the top half wasn't just overbearing. 
I'm gonna put a little bit of this Garnier down here as well so we can get that tamed and we don't cause any heat damage. So I'm spraying my rat tail comb and just adding a little bit of that tint lace spray in my parted area so it doesn't look super, super transparent. A little bit more natural. So I'm gonna take the elastic band off. So I'm excited. It's looking good. But I'm gonna put the hair back a little bit and remove this lace. Take the back of my tweezers, take a little bit of that Got To Be Glue hairspray and press it right on my lace. And this is just to ensure everything is laying down. All right, and now we're gonna work on the baby hairs before I actually go in with styling the hair. Bluntly cut this. Y'all know I've been into like doing blunt cuts with my baby hairs. I just feel like it looks better when you like go in to swoop. able to give like that curled swoop look bringing it all the way down here in the middle sometimes I cut it real short just to like right here and I have like a gap until I get to this part but um I really do like my baby hairs like this today and I think I'm probably gonna try it out again on another unit because I have like this copper like this copper auburn color so I'm gonna try that out on that one overall I really do love the quality it's giving very like luscious luxurious grade a i will definitely put all of ali pro's information in the description box below if you guys are interested definitely check out this unit from them and i'll catch you guys in my next video <laughs>